uh, September 16th, 2020. Not that that matters. Uh, construction here seems to be constant. Going on all the time. I want to just demonstrate what kind of tolerance do they have in China for the ongoing construction, especially in some of these smaller streets where it's difficult to, uh, to get around even when there's no construction. And people have businesses here. Uh, how do they continue? How do they operate with this ongoing construction? And ask yourself, what kind of uh, tolerance would you have if this was going on in your neighborhood? Uh, which, I mean, it's unlikely that you, uh, it's unlikely that your, your home is that close to the next person's home is here but uh let's have a little look at how they deal with it here in china i think there's something actually to not bickering about politics that makes people somewhat more more tolerant of everything around them and it makes life a little easier uh, generally the construction people do try to leave enough access access for uh, people to get in and out of where they're going I don't think you can go down almost any street here and not find construction. They're doing it all at the same time. I mean, you'd almost think they'd finish one area and then go back and start a new one. But uh, yeah, you can see people can get through, but it's just barely. But uh, as far as I know, I don't think there's a lot of complaining going on. Probably. Sometimes they're not overly happy, like this guy here, what he has to walk through to get to the door. He's a delivery guy, but still looks a little bit uh, inconvenient, maybe a little dirty on the shoes. Like I say, turn down any street, you're gonna see uh, this kind of construction going on. And it almost seems like once they get that done, they have another project that starts up. Uh, this one looks like it's been dug up and covered back in. But almost as fast as they uh, get the work done, it seems like they have another project to come up. Obviously, they're putting in this uh, tubing here for something. I don't know if that's for electrical work. So it's definitely inconvenient for uh, there's all the people that live in this area. They would have had certain areas or certain bins where they would put their garbage and uh, people come in the morning and they collect those they have wheels they roll them to a refuse station and uh, empty them out and those people obviously have a little bit of difficulty right now I think they've moved the trash locations to like more of a centralized location which is uh, a little bit of inconvenience because you have to walk farther to I mean, you should be, you, normally it's like every two buildings or so there's a, uh, a bin. Anyone can just go and put their trash in there. And uh, now it's probably like a, maybe even a block or two to get to a bin. Uh, and I don't know what those, what those people that normally do the trash collection, what they'd be doing now. But, uh, oh, coming up on a row here that's a little bit wider. So the activity might be even up more brisk, more normal. It's uh, quite a bit of construction. You got businesses all along here that have to uh, deal with that. It certainly can't be can't be good for business, I'm sure. But uh, business goes on. Oh, kids playing in construction. So I wonder how. Oh, uh, if somebody watches that, or, but uh, yeah, it's not too dangerous. <laughs> you could say slightly dangerous. Got to watch where you're walking. Yeah, not a single, not a single road it isn't dug up. This, uh, this street looks like they're doing something with the sewer system. 
I'm just guessing, I don't really know. But I think I saw some lids, sewer lids, a stack of those somewhere, so they'd be uh, likely doing something with the sewer. Probably not being a little path here to cross. That part of the sidewalk's closed. Uh, they don't want people walking through there. Oh, there's a couple of open holes. But uh, yeah, it's a major construction, but it seems like all the time. One of the things they, they do con uh, construction on quite often is the sidewalks. Uh, I think this kind of sidewalk here, it's actually, there's no, there's no permanent cement or anything in there. They're tiles. And they're just sitting on sand, which has been leveled out. They tap it down, they get, they're real professional at that, but it doesn't last long, especially uh, if e-bikes, you know, run around on that, then, uh, you know, they end up popping up or something. So they replace those, it seems like, almost every year. Uh, well, we got some open construction here. It might get a little loud, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to continue to hear me. We got a backhoe rolling up the street here in a, in a, I don't know if you still call that a backhoe if it's got a jackhammer. This guy, it's got, this guy is surrounded by construction, but it's still open. Business is still open. This one looks closed, but it looks more permanently closed. I don't know where this backhoe is headed, but uh, I'm sure that if I walk on the sidewalk, uh, I'm not likely to get hit or anything, and also uh, he's likely to continue to doing whatever he's doing if I'm that far away. It's not far at all. Uh, he's probably going to scoop up these uh, rocks here. And then, I think but this other guy's breaking up. probably a little more dangerous I would think that a little stone or something could come up and hit you. You should almost have safety glasses on as you're walking by that guy but I'm guessing you can get pretty close to them and they wouldn't stop what they're doing. This is uh you know they haven't blocked the road off at all obviously. It makes parking a little difficult down here I think but uh no it's got to go on work goes on Development goes on. Improvement, constant improvement. And life still goes on, you know? Yeah, you can see I get I get quite close to this guy and he's not gonna stop what he's doing. I don't know where the back goes going. Maybe maybe he needs to go to the store to get something. But anyway, let's take a little walk down this street. And uh, yeah, you don't see anybody yelling or cursing. And uh, people just do what they can to get to where they're going and where they need to be. And watch where you're, you know, you gotta watch, make sure that tobacco doesn't back into you or something like that. But otherwise, it's a common courtesy. I think uh, back home, that would be generally considered uh, a lot of times unsafe. Uh, they'd have a lot more rules and regulations. I don't know what this guy's doing here. This is. He looks like he's taking out part of a building or something. He's not checking very well to see if he's uh, some. Oh, he's got, okay. He's got a he's got a uh, person watching for people walking behind, so he doesn't need to look. That's kind of cool. He's get this big machine inside this right inside this building. Now that's how you that's how you clean out a clean out a building right there. Good way to do it and fast. Right? That's one thing here. You can you come back like a month later and you'll see all new all new businesses, all new buildings. Things happen here fast. And this is part of the way how it's done, right? Do what needs to be done. Don't worry so much about regulations. Hopefully this guy doesn't chop his head off on the building here. Oh, I'm waiting to see what he scooped up. Oh, he's getting kind of close there. One wrong uh, move on the levers there, he'd bump his head. I hope he's got it. I hope he's landed something here. Oh, he's still going for it. Yeah, 
know, they got this a little bit blocked off. That's unusual. Normally you can you can walk right up beside the of this equipment. Oh, he's coming out. He's got a big scoop. Awesome. Imagine how long that would take him to do by hand. Got a truck over there waiting for him. <laughs> His construction has to go and drive over the other construction. Yeah, China moves fast. We don't mess around. Let's take a look inside this building. Ah, that's from... They're actually taking out the interior of the entire building. Somebody's throwing it down from upstairs. And he comes over here and scoops it up. That's a great quick way to do it. So awesome. It's not that not that awesome if you're, let's say, working a night shift and you're trying to sleep in the day or trying to do some studies. It's delivery, just park right in the construction area and go do what you gotta do. Every street is construction. In the past, I used to think, well, you know, what are all these construction guys going to do when the, when the work's done? And uh, see, so, yeah, maybe a week ago there was a building here. It's gone. There'll be something new here shortly. Uh, yeah, I used to think, what what are all these construction guys going to do when all the work is done? And it seems like it never gets done. It's perpetual. Yeah, uh, they're changing. They, you know, this is actually uh, not a lot of new building construction. There is some. This looks like also another building that's, that's been torn down and being uh, something else being brought in that's usually for real estate purposes you know really improve make a nice looking building anyway or a, a much uh, higher value building since the the property prices here continue to go up and up and up if you owned an old building for a long time sometimes it might be better just to uh, tear it down and put up a new one and then go hit the sales that way you can make some good money well, yeah, I think these construction guys don't have a lot of concern about being out of work. This goes on and on and on. Okay, this, this main road here doesn't have a lot of construction. Oh, yeah, there's something going on up there. This is, uh, sounds like another big backhoe here or something. Oh, yes, another missing building. Obviously there was something here before. They build them pretty close together in the hutongs here. You know, there's probably a building right up to about within a meter of this building. And then right from this hutong to the next hutong, it's gone and a uh, bunch of materials there ready to start building a new one. Delivery. How tolerant are we in the west of this kind of this level of uh, work going on. Would we just work around it? It takes you getting used to it even over here, but uh, you can easily see that they just they just continue to work around it, do what they got to do. And don't think twice about it. You know, you could come back a week later and this is all done. And they'll uh, get started on the next project, hopefully in another neighborhood before they get this one started or this one finished or started but anyway you can see they got most of this blocked off here um, could definitely count oh here's a small hutong no construction <laughs> yeah you can count the uh, number of streets and hutongs 
I've just walked on that are not in construction. You can count them on one hand, I think, easily. A little bit of materials to get ready. Uh, this is part of the same project, obviously. They're putting in some major piping. I don't think it's sewage, it's too small. Oh, they got another big pipe that went in there. That looks like gas, maybe, because it's uh, got that funky connection there. But that may be gas. Uh, I don't really know for sure. But uh, not real handy for these couple guys here with their cars. Looks like they might have got blocked in. These other white pipes, I'm guessing they're for electrical. Electrical to go through. Um, I th you know, like I said, I think they're too small for sewage. And they can't use PVC for, for gas. Uh, I mean, it could be something else, but that I don't know, but I'm just guessing. So it's just, it's coming up on lunchtime here, so I think I'm missing some of the ongoing construction. And you can see there's a, this guy's the back door to his business, that way he probably gets deliveries and uh, maybe uh, he's got his obvious his garbage pail stuff out there. And this back house parked right up on his, right up on his door. It's like the breaker already came down here, broke all this stuff up, they'll have that back out tear all this stuff out. He'll probably be most of the way up the street by the end of the day. Looks like they're putting in a couple of different pipes down here. Don't see it bothering anybody or hindering anybody. They can, if they have the thinnest, they have the thinnest pathway to get through, they'll take it. And that's, you know, the construction guys usually are, are thoughtful that way. They leave them at least that much that they can get through. So this crossing this big main street of here again to make sure no cars coming. Everybody doing their temperature checks. I don't know who's checking the checks, but that's a temperature device there. So it's, it's I don't know if it's output. It doesn't look like there's an output to it, so I think there's supposed to be somebody here watching it. But like I say, it's come up on lunchtime. Come up on lunchtime, so. Maybe the, guy, maybe the guy went to the washroom, I don't know. It's a whole street of businesses here. Major construction going on, as you can see. And people going about their lives. It looks dirty as hell. It looks, you know, it looks like a third world country, but that's all very temporary. As soon as the construction's done, it'll be It'll be cleaned up quickly. Where's this guy going? Did he get through there? Uh, it doesn't look like he can get through here, but good luck to him. <laughs> Wherever he's going. Got some berries here. Now see that looks, that's definitely sewage. They're working on the sewage. So maybe they're working on sewage and electricity and gas through this area. Not just a small section of this area, not just, you know, uh, one street. <laughs> As you can see, it's every street. Every single street, but unfortunately, it's every single street all at the same time. And meanwhile, people are, people are uh, making huge improvements to buildings. There's a construction here and uh, you know, you're trying to do your construction, of maybe rebuilding or redoing re, uh, your building while this other construction is going on. So, major, major construction. I suppose if you uh, are in the construction business, this is like uh, heaven here. Okay, this is another main street, another three, two streets in a hutong that had no construction. And I've gone down a few here. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to take the lunch and their break. 
They generally, I think, take about an hour. Oh, that guy. Guys, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but he's trying to get his e-bike over that, that hill. That's, I think he could have went around faster, maybe, or more safely. No shortage of work for construction people, that's for sure. Okay, this might be getting, excuse me, a little repetitive or boring now, so I'll sign this one off and uh, just, just uh, try to think about what I said in the beginning there about, you know, the tolerance of the Chinese people and where that comes from. You know? I really do think it has something to do, well, it maybe lends towards it that there isn't the political arguing that goes back and forth it gets people already intolerant I mean maybe it does maybe it doesn't but I'm just saying maybe I could uh, have something to do with it because you know there's not uh, that level of bickering to begin with well here a couple people gonna try to get over this I don't think so you can walk over this but I don't think it's not good for e-bikes somebody will but uh, yeah let me sign this off see ya